All right, see, I got her nice and lubed up. <clears throat> so she can, uh, so he can make his way into the receiving end real easy without tearing the seal. That's the whole point. You don't want to booger anything while you're doing this. You don't want to go there twice. Now, I'm not doing the mechatronic sleeve on this, even though they said you should. It's good, it's not leaking for what it's worth. Um, access is not easy to it. It's not really a shortcut. Um, based on my uh, expert level, I think you don't want to mess with that. We can move on to something else to save us the time. Yeah, some guys are gonna see yeah, you know, take a few seconds to do it, trust me. We're probably gonna drop this pan again in the next 20,000, maybe 10,000 miles just to get all that dirty shit out of there because we're not dropping it on the torque converter. So, I'm working smart. All right, the screw, the piece that we're using is a Torx uh, 40, T40 for the screws. And the new screw, it should be no difference. Uh, it shouldn't be any different. And it's not, all right? Uh, you know, we're gonna do the cross pad and all that, but first let me get this baby snug. And then we'll go from there. All right, I've got all this stuff clean, nice with a non, a lint-free, you know, fabric, whatever, whatever your choice is, clean it up, clean up some of the stuff you have to, if you're not dropping a mechatronic unit, you don't have to worry about it too much. Get, make sure the, you know, the maintenance surface is nice and clean. Make sure your pan and everything, everything is there, your screw, your magnet, uh, make sure it actually, you know, lines up with the original pan, uh, the original pan, we're gonna go up. Look at it, everything looks good. See it going into the hole. All right. I'm gonna clear this up. All right, so unlike the X5s, this particular one, the 7 Series, I don't know if you can see that, but this baby right here, That's part of the uh, support mount, it sticks out. So if you go in this way first, you might have issues. So you might want to come in from this way, just to clear that area, and then go up. Bingo. So you see that little resistant, resistance that we're feeling right here? That's the actual filter. You know, I mean, at the filter uh, pickup point actually with the seal, Wanting to uh, want to go in, but of course you might have to push on it a little bit to get it to go in. See, it's in. It, yeah, it's going up, and it just need to be popped in a little bit so we can uh, a little persuasion. There we go, and you feel it popping. That baby's it just popped in, and it's a lot easier than some that I've boogered up in the past because. You know, I was still wet behind the ear, and I was forced and not realizing I should have lubed it up before I went in. That's what she said. All right, so I just want to get one to catch it here. Now keep your mouth shut and learn something. Each one, teach one and teach someone. If you got nothing good to say, keep your mouth shut. Don't say nothing. But what I'm doing here is just muscle memory. Just want to catch a couple of screw. I'm not torquing anything up. You know, you can Google what the torque pound is. I'm used to doing it by feel. You know, I've done a couple of these on the old Beamers. 90, I had a couple of 95, 90s, E34s that I did these on with the GA, a G8 something uh, transmission. And um, it had less bolts than these. In fact, it probably had about maybe eight with some hooks. And I don't have one to show you, but it was all snug fit. No crazy seven, eight foot pounds, but you know, new to me to whatever you're doing. You just want it snug. You can always revisit it and make sure it's not leaking. Right. Uh, my heater just kicked in, so if you can't hear me, just watch. Me. 